welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to tackle something that many, many people have requested that I share with you. How to make bagels at home. So let's go see how we make these. We're just going to start building this and I'll go over the ingredients as we go. These are really simple. There's only six ingredients in bagels. This is two cups of warm water. Here's two tablespoons of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of instant yeast, and then the secret, secret ingredient in bagels, whoopsie, is either diastatic malt powder or malt in general. You can use a malt syrup. You can use, this is the malted milk powder that we use to make shakes and smoothies and ice cream and things like that. But it already smells malty and yeasty mm -hmm. and delicious. Okay, so this is six cups of bread flour and a tablespoon of salt. That's it. We're going to knead, the, we're going to mix this up and then we're going to knead it for five minutes. Okay. This is all done. It needed for five minutes. Then I'm going to put a bonnet on this and we're going to let it sit for about an hour and a half until it's at least doubled in size. Then we'll come back, we'll divide it up, we'll shape it into bagels, and I'll show you how to shape bagels properly, not like you might think. So when it's time to do that, we'll come back and we'll proceed. Okay, our dough has risen and now we're just going to get it out of the bowl and we're going to gently deflate it. There we go. And now I'm going to divide this up into 12 as equal portions as I can get. So now all we're going to do is we're going to roll these up into nice tight little bundles and we're going to let them rest for about 10 minutes. Our, our dough balls are ready to rest. I've got them all formed and this is what they should look like on the bottom and you form them just like we do when we make our hamburger buns. In the palm of your hand you cup it against the thing, you press gently and you roll until it's nice and smooth. It should just have a little notch in the bottom where it's all twisted up into itself. So next thing we're going to do is we're gonna take a wet flour sack towel that, and this is just damp, okay? Just a little bit damp. And we're gonna let these rest for 10 minutes and this is just so the dough doesn't dry out. And then we'll come back and we'll show you how to form these properly. Now we're gonna shape these. Now, you just wanted them to rest a little while before you put the hole in them. I'm gonna flatten it out a little. I'm gonna take my index finger and I'm just going to poke a hole see poke a hole then you're going to wrap it and you're going to stretch it just a little we see this little air pocket there deflate that and then kind of stretch it be gentle because you don't want to tear the dough you just want to gently um, encourage it so that you have about a two inch space I'd say that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. yes. Then I'm going to put it over here on my baking sheet. I'm going to grab my damp cloth one more time and I'm going to cover these up. Then we're going to let these rest for 30 minutes and then we're going to come back and we're going to put them in the boil. Okay, I have eight cups of water that I'm heating up. I'm going to add a tablespoon of granulated sugar and I'm going to add two tablespoons of the malt syrup. You don't have to use malt syrup. You can use the malted milk powder. You can use brown sugar. So we're gonna bring this to a slow simmer. Okay, we've let our bagels rest for about 30 minutes and they are nice and puffy and they look perfect. I am very excited about these because I can't wait to share with you what they look like when they're all done. At this point, you need to be very gentle when you lift these up. You're going to pick them up and you're going to pop them right here in the boiling water bath. And this is with the, you know, 
you've got your your malt powder I mean or your your malt syrup and the um, the sugar and the water and it's just at a gentle simmer and you need to let this boil and then you're gonna flip them over you don't want to crowd the pan now this is the the process that's going to begin the cooking on the bagel so once you boil them they're not going to rise anymore they're just going to stay the way they are now because they've risen and they've got a nice domed top you can definitely distinguish the bottom from the top we want to keep them that way okay so you want to keep make sure that you pay attention I'm gonna flip mine over if it'll go goodness there you go and then the other thing too if your bagel doesn't float when you put it in the water you've done something wrong that's how you'll know your bagel should float it shouldn't sink to the bottom it should float right on the top of the water if it doesn't float you'll know that there's there's something wrong with your bagel and you're going to have a sad bagel so we preheated our oven to 425 degrees now I'm going to take these out now I have a plate over here that I have my uh, bagel sprinkle in and I'm going to put more bagels in the water I'm gonna let them drain on a rack for just a few minutes and then we'll put them on the pan that they're going to cook in uh, when we put them in the oven the only other thing that you do which I have done with my other bagels when these sit on the rack for just a minute they're cool enough this is some semolina flour um, this is the same type of flour that they use for pasta this is going to prevent our bagels from sticking. It's time to put these into the oven. 425 degrees. There we go. Right on top of my pizza stone. If you don't have one, don't worry. Put it in the lowermost portion of your oven. These are going to bake for 20 minutes. When they're ready to come out, we'll come back and I'll show you what they look like. These are all ready to come out of the oven, and I couldn't be happier. Look at them. Oh, my goodness. Look at those. They look delicious. They smell delicious. Now, we just have to wait so they cool off a little, and then I can slice one open and show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, our bagels are almost cool enough, and you know, sometimes you just can't wait to try something. What I do want to show you is... I did put them on a rack to cool all the way because I didn't want the bottoms getting soggy so that is something you might consider doing. They're positively gorgeous and I cannot wait to show you the inside. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the bottom. They are crunchy on the outside. They have a nice crust on them and I'm going to go ahead and slice into one for you. Ready? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, so exciting. Yeah. Bagels are so easy to make at home. They take a little bit of effort. They take a little bit of time. But in the end, isn't it worth it? I hope that you give these a try. I hope that all of the people who have requested bagels are happy with this. I hope you're happy with the results. And I hope that you will try making these at home for yourselves. Um, I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and Google Plus and Blogger. I have a blog over there and you can take a look at that. You can um, subscribe to that feed as well. And don't forget that every recipe that you see me um, do here on YouTube, with the exception of a few earlier ones, you can access all of the recipes over on my website, Noreen'sKitchen.com, 
or you will find printer friendly versions of those recipes so you can print them out and keep them for your own. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!